up this rainy Saturday morning. Grand Marnier strawberry crepes. These are not your grandmother's pancakes. Chef Michael Harris from Red Rose Catering is with us this morning on Nine News Now. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Penny. Appreciate it. All right, so why don't we get started here and tell us how to make these lovely strawberry crepes. Sure, definitely. We're going to start with our strawberries. Right. We have our strawberries, our sugar, and our Grand Marnier. Fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries. Yeah. Quartered. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sugar inside the strawberries. Okay. And then I'm going to put the Grand Marnier inside and I'm going to let that sit for about 15 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, you can let it sit longer, preferably longer. You want to let it sit, but that's perfect. Okay. What's going to happen afterwards? Here, let's show these. I want to make sure everyone. Okay. So we started with right here, yes, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Put the sugar in there yeah. and mm -hmm. then you let it sit. Let in it hole. sit and then all the juices right. are going to extract out of those strawberries. And then the longer you let it sit, the more juicy you're mm -hmm, going to have, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Next, we're going to start with our crepe mix. Okay. Right? So we're going to have our flour. Right. Two cups? Two cups of flour. Okay. Our sugar. What is that? About a half, half of a cup. cup of sugar. Okay. Then we're going to add our milk. Okay. What is the difference between crepes and pancakes? Uh, just due to the fact that pancake mix is thicker mm -hmm. and uh, crepe mix is thinner. Gotcha. So, and there's water inside crepe mix. All right. And do you, I know with pancakes, you don't stir them No, to as death, much. You, know? yeah, you don't you, stir but, them as much. But with crepe mix, you definitely want to stir them mm -hmm. just due to the fact that you want to make sure that there's no lumps inside. Right, no lumps in crepe. Lumps yeah, are not so, I mean, crepes. you can use an uh, electric mixer if you want to. Oh. Um, but, you know, I just prefer to use sure. uh, just a, a whisk. Right. And then, you see, there's still some lumps, mm -hmm. so then that's what the water is for, oh, which gotcha. you don't add to your, your pancake mix. You want to add your water to that? Okay. Keep on mixing. Get it going there. Yep. And get all those lumps out, right? Right. And then you want to add your eggs. Okay. Oh, and you don't need to mix them ahead of time. No, not okay. at all. Okay. There just you go. Drop them in there, and then they see I how like they that. beat, and they just come together perfectly. Just one bowl. That's nice. One bowl. Nice for cleaning. <laughs> Very nice for cleaning. <laughs> and then at the end of that, you want to put that. You either use a ladle for your crepe mix. Okay. Or you can use what we have right here. You know, just a use that. Cup. Yeah, yep. measuring cup, and then we're good to go. Right, make sure that your pan is piping hot. Oh, okay. That's very important. And you can use any kind of saucepan, as long as it's got a uh, nice no, non, no, non you want, stick. You oh. want to make sure it's non-stick. Right. Make sure it's non-stick. If not, then you're going to blame me that the no. crepes didn't come out right. But do you need to put any non-stick surface, any spray on there, or is it fine like that? Uh, no, yeah, you can use uh, Some pan, pan, butter, mm -hmm. clarified okay. butter, whatever you want to use. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use just butter. Right. You don't want to put too much in there. Because it'll burn. Yeah, because it'll burn. So you t you're taking the pan off right now so it doesn't yeah, burn. Yeah, so it doesn't burn because it's, it's right now it's smoke. at the perfect temperature. Right. And you want to put that butter inside. Okay. Not a lot of butter, just a little bit. A little less than a teaspoon. Yeah. Okay. Swizzle it around the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just make sure that there's, you know, it coats the bottom of the pan. Maybe a little bit more butter, just a teeny bit. Okay. These are going to be so. good. And you're oh, going to put the good. strawberries. They're going to be great. Yeah. They're going to be great, Peggy. <laughs> well, these were... Um, R strawberry rolled crepes were my favorite dessert as a kid. We used to go to a restaurant called Three Chefs in Annandale, and that's they, they made these three crepes in a row. The good thing with strawberries, like is that mm -hmm. now that you're older, now you can have Grand Marnier instead of strawberries. Well, that's true. Can't serve them to the kids, though. No, you can't <laughs> serve them to the kids. We can leave the Grand Marnier out. All right, you just want to swizzle it around and coat the bottom. Yeah. And you want to let this sit. It depends on what kind of... Uh, range in which you're using, so I can't really say 45 seconds to two minutes. Mm -hmm. It just depends upon the range in which you're using for this. So when do you know that it's ready? What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. Oh. I have a spatula here. And you're going to peek. And I'm going to peek. Mm -hmm. You know, once it comes together, mm -hmm. once it, it's going to settle a little bit more. Yes. And then you're going to know it's ready. Well, it does smell good, yeah. All right. And then I'm going to Scrape the size of this. You want it a little kind of golden brown? Yeah, golden brown on the bottom. <clears throat> and then oh, I'm just going to flip that. it over. Oh, wow. Right? Okay, right. At this point, mine would be a big jumble of mess. So. And then I want to add those strawberries to it. Make sure you add the strawberries now because it's still going to cook on the bottom. Okay. So you add the strawberries. Oh, interesting. Now that's really interesting. I figured you'd wait until you put it on the plate. I'm going to put it on the plate too, okay. Peggy. Well, I know, but. This then, is neat, yeah, good. Then add your Grand Marnier. Oh, now the Grand Marnier. Right. Wow. This is like a fancy dessert, really. Yes, indeed. And you want to let that liquor cook out. Okay. Well, you probably could give it to the kids then if the liquor cooks oh, out. Yeah, it's yeah, the flavor. Yeah, right. you just get the flavor. 
Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. Nice and warm, too. A little. <laughs> that is great. We will have the recipe on our website for you. It, you know, it doesn't look hard to make at all. No, very simple. Right. Very simple. Anybody can do. Can all you got to do? We're, uh, just go to our website. Uh, coming up a little bit later, we will have it on there. And you just click on recipes under the living section. We don't have it right now, but we'll have it for you a little bit later for you. And we'll taste this lovely uh, Grand Marnier strawberry crepe coming up at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. We'll uh, see if it's any good. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Michael. Thanks very much. Oh, look Thank at you. that. Beautiful whipped cream. Is that what we've got there? Okay. Yes, whipped cream. Oh, my goodness. And, and vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Tastes better than it looks. Yeah. EMS, want to be sure everyone remembers the change oh, yeah. for their batteries and smoke alarms. Make sure those smoke alarms are working, and we've jumped, we're jumping ahead tonight. We're going to Set lose your an clocks hour. ahead one hour. You spring forward. Daylight savings time begins tonight, and yes, make sure you change the batteries on all of your smoke detectors in the house. This is the Very time good. of the year to remember to do that. We want to thank Mike Harris, who is, uh, runs the Red Rose Catering well, business. Thank you for having me, Peggy. And he came in oh, and made man, these this lovely... Strawberry Grand Marnier crepes. Yeah. And we get to try them now. All right, you right? get to try them while okay. I do the seven day you forecast. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. That go looks for good. It. I'm jealous, by the way. <laughs> Tastes better than it looks. I'll yes. bet it does. How dynamic this storm is. Snow, severe weather, all kinds of stuff possible during the day today. You know, today might be a good day just to stay home, make some and make crepes. Marnier crepes. Yeah, Sounds these like are a plan to me. these are delicious. And the Grand mm -hmm. Marnier, they, he burned it off, so there's it's, there's not the alcohol, but the flavor is still there. It gives yeah. it an interesting flavor. And yeah. if you missed that segment, it looks so mm -hmm. easy. Even I could probably mm -hmm. probably do it. You got you made it look easy. Of course, you're a professional. So. Mm. No, you can do it. You I think so. Too. Even me. I'm I'm positive, delicious. Tony. I'm positive. Very <laughs> Thank delicious. you. Thank yes. you so much. Well, thank you for in. And we'll have the recipe on our website a little later on, so you can check that out. Exactly. And thanks for choosing 9 News Now. The Saturday Early Show is next, and we will see you tomorrow morning beginning at 8. Have a great day. Right. Look at you. You already got yours. Thanks.